All right. So this unit here, I just left the inside, and uh, the complaint is the outside at the condenser unit. It was making a loud noise last night, and uh, so they've been here for 15 years, never had any problems with it. They don't do any maintenance or anything on it. Uh, never had a service call. So, uh, I got the unit set to 72 and 75 in the house. They say it does cool well, just making a loud noise. I think I hear myself. Might be that fan motor. Moving air from the side. Boy, I need cleaning. Right now, I'm gonna check the amps. So it's about 80 degrees out here. That the air is way too warm. I think. All right, one of these black wires for the compressor, one is for the fan. Probably the compressor right there. I got 16.7. 16.7 Should be my fan here In the fan I got point Say point six or seven Compressor is rated. Let me see. Like the whole unit is rated for 18.6. The fan is rated for 1.1. 1 .1. Oh no, that's a compressor right there is rated for 18.6. And the fan is 1.1. You check the bearings on that fan motor. Point 
boy, that's kind of low to me. I'd rather have like a 1.0 or 1.9. Yeah, I got 104 degrees. I think that's too low. I'm gonna change this fan motor out. Yep, yeah, I'm gonna change it out. Right, let's check this capacitor before we do that. I want to check the bearings and make sure it's not uh, seizing up. But I'm gonna check the uh, check this cap first. Zero, zero, zero. I, don't, I like this fluke here, but it does not check microfarad. Microfarad 5.2. It's a 35.5, so it's good. Let's go ahead and check the compressor side of it while we at it. Thirty-one point eight. Thirty-one point eight. All right. So let's check this fan. All right. So I would like to check the bearings on this motor. Okay, 
Okay, this black right here is the compressor. So we don't want that one. This is my fan right here. motor kind of hot this is gonna be the carpet right here see it don't spin freely it's just spin freely here it's not super bad but it it's kind of stiff and the motor real hot Compressor is not too bad, so all right, let's put another fan on here, and this should solve our problem. Like I said, I'll also get the water hose and clean the coil. You never had a maintenance in 15 years. Go run and get some lubricant. So, um, this unit says, like I say, because this motor right here, I feel a little play, but this cap says 7.5. y'all can see that but it need a 7.5 cap and uh this is a warranty call here so i can either replace this motor um or replace the cap i can put a cap on here and see if my amps go up a little bit um, <laughs> because really not that bad to me so what i think i want to do is put a the correct cap on this motor and uh if it just makes a loud noise again we'll come back and replace the motor uh, but i think i'm just gonna go ahead and replace the motor though um yeah because i don't i don't really like callbacks so Let's just go ahead and replace the motor anyway. But I just don't know how long. It's a five cap, five UF. I just don't know how long. Uh, 
it's been doing there. But this cap is kind of rusty, so it seems like it's been here a while. Let's just go ahead and change the motor out. Hopefully we won't have to come back. cap on it but and then test it it will be nice to see what the amps would be if we put the correct one on here so I got quite a few calls I don't really have time to be playing no game Play no games with that either. Go ahead and put this pulley on it, get it over with. You know, some old school, they don't like. They don't like these gear pulleys, but I love them. I love these little fan pull-ups. Like some old school don't like digital gauges. Some of them don't like, you know, I'm gonna take advantage of this technology. I've been putting me a three quarter on there. I just left about 40 degree weather in the mountains. Now it's about almost 90 degrees here. So my body trying to get used to the humidity. And I was like 10,000 feet above sea level. Hard to breathe up there. All right, so let's put a new motor on here. Get the homeowner some cooling because she says she refused to go without air conditioning. Yeah, about time for another. We can save that call back.
that company. Eleven thirty-two. Eleven thirty-two with a hollow inside. It's perfect. Cut this shaft. I think this is a carrier. Check this motor for rotation. So it's clockwise. Rotation clockwise. Yeah. So we're gonna make sure on this one here, counterclockwise is yellow, yellow, and purple, purple. Clockwise is yellow purple. So we need to change this. Alright, so I gotta change my rotation right there. It's always gonna get this ground wire out the way. It's already grounded to the unit. pull it through but these are kind of easy to get to so My shafts should be fine.
used to get my motor and lined up where the old blade used to be keyhole right there so this right here let's put that blade about right up in here safety gloves all right so i'm gonna pause clean up a little bit i'm gonna get my water hose i want to clean this core while i got this fan out should be my common it can go on a capacitor or straight to the contact whichever you prefer my hot leg it has to go straight to the contact her. All right, so I'm gonna put this black one right here. Right. This white one is gonna go on the common. Or you can stick it back there on the contact. All right, oh shh. I'm tripping though. We're replacing this contact. I mean, capacitor. It's a 35.5. My fan motor takes a 7.5, so we're gonna go with 35 7.5, which that should have been on it from the beginning. to the common All right. so we got that common going to the, the four or the or the common on the contactor this blue wire goes to my herm which is the compressor hermetic right there let's see here what we got here this white right here it's gonna go on this common this Brown and white is a 
continuation of this white. So we can do away with this one. We'll tape it off. would cut it but somebody may want to use it in the future for something so this solid brown will go to my fan right here all right so i got black black that's all there Just cap this one off right here. All right. And let me see here. Let's just leave it. Compressor right here. I just want to leave enough to be able to check the amps. from this cage right here. See if I put this in, it runs smooth, but it, it vibrates. So I'm gonna try to put a little insulation on there, but I can't do too much about that. I just get a home on it, just normal wear and tear. You only got a little age on it. I'm gonna have to rig something up. up all the screws on here. degree sub cooling 62 degree I mean 62 psi on my suction 35 saturation so I, so I still may add a little refrigerant sometimes the homeowner think it's cooling good but These real loose here. So the 
unit look like it been hit. Damage right here, this probably was causing all that. Somebody hit it with the lawnmower. Yeah, it broke out. So I'm gonna tell you whoever cut the grass. Probably hit it. But sound better. And uh Alright, so me just thinking about it. I think this grass look like it's freshly cut. They say they heard the noise yesterday. And uh, I got a feeling that when they got that grass cut, if it was yesterday or the day before, I think they came hit it with their lawnmower. That's what really was making that noise. But. They got a new fan motor out the deal and some refrigerant. It's about 70 something in the house, so probably just get that suction up to 70, 75. Six ounces. Thirty-nine saturation. So I, I like that between 40, 45. So 70, 72 should get us there. So if you're a DIY or a homeowner and uh this is just a rule of thumb that you can use if you don't have no pressure temperature chart or you, or you don't know how to do superheat or sub cooling. Whatever on your blue hose or your suction line, try to get that to match the thermostat. That's just a little trick. It may not be perfect, but it's close. about 70, 26 degrees superheat. That's good. I'm gonna let that run for a few minutes. I'm gonna speak with the homeowner. I'm gonna go get her. Try to find out when they cut this grass. And But I think that's all carpet right there. Cause it looks pretty fresh to me. But, uh, but anyway, thanks for watching.